Welcome back to Under the Tights, powered by the one and only Heroes Comics, right here in Fresno at Shaw and Highway 41. I'm Rash in the Morning Blaze here at 105 on the Blaze. Apologize for the voice. I've been a little bit sick this week. That's why the video is a couple days late. Uh, but this week's Under the Tights is about Frank Castle, the Punisher. Now, last week, hopefully you saw the uh, amazing uh, Netflix trailer for the uh, upcoming Punisher show, which is going to be released sometime between now and the end of the year. It's set to Metallica's one. The uh, best part to me is like when the... Uh, the drums kick in and they, they match the guitar up with the gunshots. Very, very cool. Uh, but just who is the Punisher? Where does this character come from? Well, anti-heroes are kind of a thing now. It's pretty common to have a, um, a good guy that does bad things, a flawed good guy. It's a fairly common thing these days. We've, we've done Under the Tights uh, episodes about guys like this already. Deadpool comes to mind as one of these type, type of characters that does bad things but is still kind of a, a good guy. Uh, the Punisher might be the first one of these guys to go mainstream. He's definitely the first one I can think of uh, for Marvel Comics. He was debuted in a Spider-Man book uh, back in the mid-70s. His background is, um, well, kind of cliche, actually, if you think about it. He, he's a, a war hero who's out for revenge after the death of his family. Some people kill his, his son and his wife. And depending on which storyline you're looking at, if you're looking at the Netflix background of the Punisher, where he comes from, these, these um, hitmen were actually trying to kill him and accidentally kill his family instead, and then he's out for revenge to figure out why. In the comic book, the original story was mob guys. These, these gangsters, uh, they're, his family's in the wrong place at the wrong time, they witness a murder, and then to shut them up, these mobsters kill his wife and his son, and he's out for revenge. So that part of his story, like I was saying, not too, it's kind of run of the mill, right? You know, guy out for revenge on bad guys. The, the thing that, that adds a unique twist to the Punisher that makes him uh, I think unique and made people go, oh my gosh, what is happening when they read about this character? Is that, you know, most superheroes have this kind of honor code. You know, you think, you know, Batman doesn't kill. You know, that's like, you know, everyone knows what his limits are. Superman always restrains himself from using the full force of his power because of the destructive nature and the things that could happen if he were to let himself be as strong as he really can. The Punisher has none of those rules. Uh, he offs people all the time. It's kind of his thing. He uses guns. Uh, he has no problem, like I said, killing He'll torture people to get what he wants. He uses all of the, all of the skill set and all of the destructive nature of the villains you normally see in books. He uses it on the villains in in the books. As a matter of fact, a lot of times you see your standard superheroes, your Spider-Man, your Daredevil, these other kind of New York um, Marvel characters, trying to restrain the Punisher because they know at his heart he's trying to do the right thing, but he has no limits. Like he has none of that. With great power comes responsibility. None of that's there. He has no problem just annihilating people. And in his mind, they deserve it. They have it coming. And that had never really been done before uh, in the mid-70s when, when the Punisher was first, uh, first revealed. He is a, an ex-Marine, so he's got all that kind of hand-to-hand combat training. He's an excellent um, sniper. He has, he's an expert, uh, has expert weapons training in just about anything. And he employs all of those skills and tactics when he takes down bad guys. And like I said... He often will end up fighting with heroes as well because of the, the extreme nature of the way, uh, manner in which he goes after guys. I guess it's probably the better way to say it. Makes the character very, very cool to read about. There's not a lot of really standalone Punisher books. There's been a couple story arcs that have taken place, but not, not as much as there are your other standard heroes, your Captain Americas, your Superman, Batman, all that kind of stuff. Most of the time, he exists alongside another hero in one of their storylines. I think mostly because of the way his character needs to be restrained oftentimes by one of those heroes. So if you just had him out there offing people all the time, it'd be kind of scary. I'm really curious to see how they do this show. So far, uh, he's appeared in Daredevil Season 2, I think is, is the Daredevil season that he was in. Kind of thought maybe he'd show up in the Defenders Netflix show too, but he didn't. There was a, a sneak peek at the, end of, at the end of that for this show. But it looks really cool. I like the actor who portrays him. Um, I like the way they, they did his story, like I said, in, in Season 2 of Daredevil. And I'm really curious to see how this all plays out because, like I said, it should be very, very violent. Netflix has not shied away from the violence in these shows either. The first two Daredevil seasons were really, really violent. So I'm, th I'm thinking that's the, that's the mode they're going to go with with The Punisher. But again, should be out before the end of the year. They still haven't given us a, an exact hard release date, which is strange because it's, you know, October already. But it should be here before Christmas. So look for it on Netflix soon. The Punisher. And head out to Heroes Comics. Find out more about Frank Castle, a shot in Highway 41. Thanks for listening to Under the Tights. Uh, next week, we'll be back at it again. Right here again. Comments, comments, and really do appreciate you powering through. Hear that wheezing? I can't even, <laughs> I can't breathe. I really can't.